few things like I was telling you. You know, if you were to speak on a controversial subject, suppose mm-hmm. you're in India. If you have to speak about religion, you know, it gets controversial at many places, right? Yes, a lot of time. How would you handle that without hurting someone's sentiments, but also giving yours very clearly? It's very essential for in today's world to know how to handle such a conversation. Because it's not that, oh, uh, you know, she's going to get hurt, so I'll avoid it. No, I'm going to speak. I'm going to take a risk, but I'll make sure that this person get, doesn't get offended. I'll give you simple ways of how to do that. Try it. Come back to me with your doubts. Okay. Let's say you're speaking about religion. Okay. I'm an atheist. And I'm a person who believes in God a lot and you're an atheist. You don't believe in God at all. You know, I may get hurt when you say something like, hey, God doesn't exist. What shit are you talking about? Instead of having that approach, okay. Number one approach that you can have, try to understand my opinion. Why do I believe in God? How does it make me feel? So I'm going to tell you, okay, these are the reasons, you know, my family believes in God, etc., etc. So I do. Uh, I'm also going to say, you know, believing in it ma- makes me feel very peaceful. When I say this, you catch this line that, okay, it makes her feel peaceful. So you start your conversation by saying, oh, it makes you feel very peaceful. I'm really happy to know that religion does something so good for you. So first you take out a good point out of the other person's conversation, something that you like. Okay. 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 And then you give your opinion. But on the contrary, I haven't had such an experience, you know, which is why I don't believe in God that much. In my life, the experiences have been different. And then you go on with your X, Y, Z reason as to why you don't. Okay, so uh, I need to pause. I need to understand and and listen to the person at least for a minute. I mean, what uh, until I'll get a point of, from which I can start my point of view. Yes, that also and some point where you can appreciate what I'm doing and you actually understand why. Okay, try to understand. Always ask a lot of questions to the other person. Why? Try to understand all of their opinion. Why? What made you do this? What point in your life did this happen? Did you face any personal experience that you would like to share with me? Ask them. Are they comfortable sharing? Then pick those things and build your conversation. Okay. okay. So right. they don't they don't get offended because you have heard me. You are trying to mm-hmm. understand me and I know and at this point I start having faith in you because you are taking the time to listen to me. Okay. Yeah. Number right. one approach of saying mm-hmm. something very controversial or something that you don't like. Second approach. Try to be diplomatic. If it's a person that you don't know or you feel that it's a sensitive person. If you feel I'm not very strong and I'm not a very open person, I'm sensitive. Okay, I cry easily. I get angry easily and I, I'm a little stubborn. If you have that judgment, try to be diplomatic. Um, yes, there are a lot of people who believe in God and I know it works a lot for them. I know that somewhere there's a force in nature or there's an energy that's above us. Okay, but I haven't been able to see that energy. So I don't know, to each their own. You know, everyone has their own choice. Okay. Right? You're neither saying uh, yes nor no. Nor no. Just... Okay, yeah. You're playing, right. you're playing safe. Yeah, okay? playing safe. Like what a lot of people uh, in public do. When they're public speaking, they try to play safe. Neither this side nor that side because they don't want to get trapped. Okay. okay. So these are few ways that you try to implement next time. I'll probably uh even, even if I try to provoke you into saying something that you don't want, try to keep your cool, place your point. But do not be afraid of saying what you want, is what I try to tell you. Okay, from last time's conversation, I want you to take risks, but learn how to put that risk properly. Don't go away from it. Okay. Because, that, because now that I know you do this. I will try to ask you more difficult questions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but, but I want you to learn how to handle it, how to speak. Okay? Yeah, okay. Perfect. 
so uh, go to these videos come back to me with doubts uh, if you if you want to know how you can implement it in your conversation just come back to me okay and any topic that you feel you want to just test that okay today i want to speak about this and just test ask me question ask do tell me i'll do that for you i'll come prepared okay yeah sure sure perfect okay so uh, let's uh, do you think everything in life is predestined predestined uh no i don't think so why because uh, things things changes i mean if if uh if something is in destiny and we actually don't want it we can we can change we can change that particular thing right right and sorry yes go on yes and i don't think things are already planned or destined for a particular person because a person and things changes with time so uh, if something is planned that is not going to work for that particular person because that person is changing with the time mm-hmm. that's why yes true and so 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 ultimately you do believe in hard work and that our actions is what causes uh i believe in hard work and uh, more than hard work i believe in smart work mm-hmm. I-, i feel that uh if you are a hard worker it is not important that you will get things um easily or mm-hmm. hard work and easily i think i'm saying something wrong okay if you are a hard worker i don't think you will get things what you desire or or what you're working for or it will or it may take a long time to achieve the things you are working for but if you think smartly if you do smart work i think you get things easily and um, yeah within the short span of time you will get those things if mm. you works yeah just because you are hard working doesn't mean you are going to achieve what you want a smart a bit of smart work and sure uh, things things are done faster and in a limited duration of time Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, smart work will work for you faster. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's imagine a day where there were no laws for a day, okay? Describe a few things that you would like to do. Okay. Uh it is a very I mean vast topic and uh, I get a lot of things in mind when I imagine that there is a no there is no law uh, there were no laws for a there day. There are no laws. Okay, yeah there are no laws for a day uh but yeah first thing i uh, first thing came in my mind is i would um, ride a bike for a day without helmet <laughs> that would the first thing <laughs> that i would do <laughs> wearing helmet and uh, nowadays it's compulsory everywhere even though i am going to um uh, feel feel a tank with petrol uh, nearby and then also i have to wear a helmet and uh, it's, it's i don't like it at all mm. so that's the one thing though it is good for us it is for our safety but i think for shorter distance for short distances uh, we can avoid it but as it is a rule we have to follow this so mm. this is the first thing and second thing um, okay and the sec now if i'll start anything it would uh, simultaneously impact on the other person or other things so other than this i really don't want to do anything if there is no law <laughs> because i'm actually scared if if there are no laws and uh, i think we would not have a stable society if there are no laws um everything would get messed up no yeah. one would want to go to work everyone would just want to uh, everyone just everyone would just want to steal things from someone and if there are no laws no one can stop him actually no one can stop them actually yeah if, that, that is stop, true and if if they and if they even want to stop there would be a harm for both the parties or or it would be people. harmful for both parties for both. yeah for both parties so yeah again ah, i mean okay. it, it, if there is no law if, or if there are no laws it might be good for a minute or for a second but again if we think uh, deeply it's a disaster 
we should mm. not even really. think about this it will be super chaotic super chaotic chaotic okay like with a lot of chaos noise oh hell oh, yeah, skelter right yes 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 things would be hey why things would be hell to skelter things would be chaotic anything yes without laws right mm. and would you anyway any day do anything that's illegal okay i think a uh, very common thing uh, i did i think uh, twice once or twice that is a uh, breaking a signal <laughs> <laughs> i do that every day <laughs> no i don't do that every day because uh, when i leave home my mom just uh, shouting behind me that a uh, slow like uh, drive slowly don't break the signal and all those things so these things uh, are always in my mind whenever i go out of the house so that's why i don't do it usually <laughs> oh well uh, ever since all the cameras have been put up i don't because i don't want to pay the heavy fines but i remember before i used to i used to have this electric vehicle electric two wheeler you didn't have to wear helmet for it oh so. wow <laughs> okay <laughs> so yeah okay uh, would you discourage others from doing something uh discourage mm. no I, i would not because i also believe in doing crazy things though unless it is not harmful for you and for your family Correct. it's just okay to do crazy things uh, and sometimes i contribute also so no i don't discourage anyone unless it is not uh, unless it is not very uh, unless it, it is not this it is not at the stage of criminal things or mm-hmm. something very really, Mm. something would be very problematic for something in human you can say that uh yeah yeah maybe i i, I want to say that only yes okay and is there any issue that you would like to stand up against very popular issue and this is a gender equality equality when when it comes to a a, a girl and a boy you know see i'll give you a simple example when it comes to techies like technical things mm. we always i mean i have always seen men in that particular field uh, when it compares to women women are very less in that particular thing and i still wonder like why i mean uh, now we are living a world where we talk about equality then why why don't we go why don't we choose equal fields when it comes to education or technical things like if you talk about the ceos of big companies all are just men right <laughs> and that's why that's the thing in my mind i mean why it is and we should overcome this as soon as possible because we talk a lot and i think we should act according to that true definitely we should uh, i i i actually have two kinds of, of opinions on this i love women who work okay and i wish that yeah everybody who wants to work does work on the other hand i also think that people who like to take care of the house not forcefully but who really like to do it uh, should do it because uh, if it went for my mom being a housewife i would not be like uh, so much into other things you know she's taken she she wanted to take care of her kids and wanted them to grow up so um that is also a good thing so it's good both as long as things are not forced upon someone it's good like it's great i completely agree with you and if our moms are uh, housewives that is the reason we are able to do lot of things at a sa- mm. at the same time otherwise we would have to do our things also if they have been working right true like at this at this time both of us would be uh, cooking our dinner and eating it <laughs> yeah you're right absolutely <laughs> but we are blessed that uh, we uh, we are like grown up in the family where we have our moms who are taking our who are taking care of the family and we have a lot of time to do our things so correct yes. okay this is another way okay where you speak about the pros and cons of both sides 
okay yeah where you are not concluding anything you're just giving the pros and cons of both sides now it's left to the other person to take what they want i did not give you my complete side i just gave you pros and cons of both okay so why i like this and uh, yeah i like this only why i like this why i like this also what i don't like here what i don't like here also both okay okay, okay? yeah yes keep, keep them in mind these simple things okay um imagine that the next day you know tomorrow you found out that you have been appointed as the head of the uh, police to investigate on these crimes that you are trying to commit what would you uh, what would be your action uh for what for like uh, you told me the crime that you wanted to commit was not wear helmet right now imagine that you are this side on this on the a uh, law and order side what would you do with people like you who don't want to wear helmet okay yeah, obviously i i try to explain them that why it is necessary and uh, it, it is for your safety only so you have to wear the helmet i would again um, charge fine uh, on that person and i would ask him to not repeat th- these things again because if so- if one person does that uh other person would also try to do that like if i am going somewhere and i and i find someone on the signal like okay he hasn't uh, wore the helmet then okay i'm safe mm-hmm. i have this mentality like okay i have some person who is doing the same things like me so of course i would use my experience uh that time also when i would be a officer mm. and i would try to explain that person that you're doing wrong things don't do this again and you have to uh you have to pay the fine as well so mm. that it would it would be in your mind that okay i paid for this and i'm not going to repeat this yeah i keep that <laughs> yes who has in worn the helmet okay instead of wore who worn. has Who has in worn? W O R N. Worn. Yeah. Okay. Here, worn. Worn. Okay. Where? Yeah. Worn. Where? Worn. Worn. Yes. Okay. I got it. Okay. Done. Do you think law and order is important, and how do they maintain peace and law and order? okay yeah uh, as i have mentioned if the if the laws and orders were not there we would have been living with a uh, we have been living a very messy life and we would not have any uh, whatever we are getting right now like a uh, water facility we are getting and i think it is because of the laws only okay. and uh, we every day we we are having someone from the government who is here to collect the garbage almost every alternative day it's a good thing so these are the basic things i'm starting from and then again a lot of things i think if uh, we we cannot do any illegal things because we know that laws and order are here and we would get caught if we do anything illegal right this uh, the simple thing is that we are afraid to break the signal because we know that if we do that we will capture in the camera and uh, it it would be how it would be um, it would be hassle for for us yes and for the other person yes and for the other person also uh, it may cause a accident and uh, it's it's a human risk true. right true so these are the very small small things which is uh, realizing us that how law and orders are important in our life and when it comes to like a prison prison or criminal things if laws and orders aren't there i think uh, we we cannot uh, i think there would be uh, no fear of getting uh, be, of going behind the prison you can just say that you know uh, i we want to realize it we ha- we must realize that law and order is important and we must be fearful of doing wrong things because it would cause harm not just to us or our family but also to other people in the society okay yeah okay. yes 
how did that wanted to say i think i was just uh, stretching it exaggerate yeah, no problem no problem just try to get them in order okay or okay. get them one by one break it if you are not able to tell long sentences break them okay 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 and um, do you think any of our laws are outdated outdated mm. unfortunately i have very bad knowledge about laws and uh, i think i haven't come across with most of the laws in my life so i don't think anyone any uh, law is outdated but if there is one i think we should update it oh uh, yeah we definitely should i, I, I think we think... should think about it i think there there is something um in 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 the constitution there is something no there is uh, actually something written in the constitution that uh, if you want to uh, make some changes in the constitution as per time then you can do that but i think we are uh, we are just repeating the things and we are not actually concentrating on uh, making changes but i think we can do that yeah. as 